Uh, joining us now is Ernesto Estigarribia, who is um, the conductor for the Mankato Symphony Orchestra. And you're here today uh, to talk about um, Prodigies, which is opening on uh, March 16th, I want to say. Right. Um, so can you tell us just a little bit about this show and, and what people can expect? Absolutely. Well, thank you for having yeah. us one, one, one more time. Mm -hmm. So we're offering a great concert this coming weekend where we're going to showcase the music of Luis Ferenc, which mm -hmm. is, who is a female composer from the 19th century in France. Mm. And as a woman in a male-dominated field, she wasn't very famous during her lifetime. Mm. And her work is being played a lot these days. So mm. we're very proud of presenting this in, in, in our community here. In addition to Louis Ferenc's third symphony, we're going to be welcoming Tony Ross, who is the cellist with the Minnesota mm. Orchestra, mm -hmm. and who will be performing Shostakovich first cello concerto, mm -hmm. fantastic piece, mm -hmm. full of energy from mm. the dark, dark mm. to, to the high energetic music, mm. fantastic piece. So we're welcoming Tony to, to Mankato once again. And we'll open with a little uh, piece by uh, composer Bela Bartok, mm -hmm. uh, who collected a lot of folk music from Romania and Hungary and uh, made this beautiful 10-minute suite that we're going to perform to open the concert. Mm. Is so it hard for you, sorry, no, you go, you go, I just have go. to ask this, but uh, is it hard for you to not just like start dancing, you know, like how, when I they're performing. I would argue he does dance. Yeah, with I, his could, hands. I could just see that well, you the, really the, get into it, which is great. Well, there's a lot of commonalities between dancing and, and, and conducting because you have to use your body to yeah. communicate. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. the difference is in conducting, you have to do it before the, the, the music, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. You have to anticipate everything. Uh -huh. Whereas dance can, can be a little responsive sometimes. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, so there's a lot of commonalities, of course. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. And so, how did you come up with the name Prodigies? Well, Louise Ferenc was a prodigy. She was a mm -hmm. great pianist. Uh, show talent at a very mm -hmm. early age and uh, in her adulthood she was appointed as professor of piano at the Paris Conservatory mm. Mm. and she was the only female pianist or professor to hold that uh, prominent title mm. in, cool. in that time. I mean wow. she was ph phenomenal. Yeah. And what's um, kind of the preparation been like for you guys? Well, I mean, a ton of work has, yeah. has gone in. Uh, rehearsals are going quite well and um, we, we're just, you know, fine-tuning to give the best of our, of our, you know, the best of us to to our audiences who come always in great numbers to our concerts. Mm. Yeah, let's talk about um, the concert itself. What do people need to know? Well, people need to know it's at 7 p.m. It uh, and uh, there are free tickets, free rush tickets mm. for students who show up 15 minutes before the show. Okay. We are offering one dollar, one single dollar ticket to. 12 years old and under mm. oh. and uh, for more ticketing information you can find out in our website at mankatosymphony.org. What a great experience though to be able to bring a, a child there and, and um, kind of expose them to music. And an extremely way. low cost. I mean mm -hmm. the, the next step will be us paying you to come to our concert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you know I introducing uh, youngsters to to live symphonic mm -hmm. music is is an, an unbelievable experience. Yeah, mm. definitely. Well, thank you so much, Ernesto. Always a pleasure to have you. And we'll have more when we come back on Cato Living.